The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, hey. we're doing a disrespectful mix down on a fun pop track featuring Mike Taylor called Full Moon. Let's dig in. The first thing I noticed that this mix down needs is some vocal production. And here on the mixer, we have absolutely nothing on the vocals yet, except for Waves Tune. And the song's in A minor, and all I did was just set the uh, scale to A minor, and I tuned the lead vocal a little bit less than I tuned all the background vocals. So here on our lead vocal in Waves Tune, we have full speed on this knob and a note transition of about 17, and this is gonna give us less of a tuning effect, but here on the background vocals, and uh, so pretty much from this plug-in all the way over to the end, you have a faster note transition speed, and that's really it for the vocals so far. Now the first thing I wanna do is drop a vocal chain on the lead, and if you use Logic Pro X, my favorite way to process vocals is to load up Blue Cat Audio, Patchwork, Mono to Stereo, and then pull up the Waves Vocal Sauce preset. And what's in this preset is a huge stack of insert chains, parallel chains, and processing on the parallel chains, and summing plugins, all set up for you, made of 100% Waves plugins, ready to go. Now the beauty of this preset is that when you drop it on your lead vocal, it goes from sounding like a raw vocal like this, I left my heart. to a polished and professional vocal like this. I left my heart hey. in this whiskey glass. Now, obviously, this plugin is using quite a bit of CPU because under the hood, there's a stack of about 20 Waves plugins running. And not to worry, because for the rest of our acapella, we're actually going to create a group and put one preset on the entire group. Create track stack and make sure you select summing stack or else you won't be able to put plugins on the group. And so we've got our group of background vocals here already colored for us nice. <clears throat> I could just copy Blue Cat Patchwork over and we're going to switch Waves Vocal Sauce to Waves Background Sauce. And for now, that's all we're going to do with our vocals because that's getting us most of the way there. And now I can focus on some more problems that I hear in a different group. So speaking of group, I'm going to take all of these instruments that I would consider like the melodic elements, highlight them, right click, same as the background vocals, summing stack. And let's also change the color to red so it matches. That little keyboard shortcut is option C to pull up this color palette. I use this all the time when I use Logic just to keep myself organized. And now we've got synths. And for the rest of our drums, I'm gonna leave the kick out of the group and right click, create track stack, summing stack, drums, and then I'm actually gonna pull my sub bass out of here and put it in a group with the kick. So we're gonna highlight these two. Let's start loading up some plugins on the overall groups that are gonna help the cause. So I'm gonna start out with, I'm gonna load up the Waves NLS bus, and we're actually not even gonna do anything but just put it there. Blame it on the full moon tonight. We're going to go down to Stillwell Audio, Event Horizon, and drop this on our drums. Put it on limiting mode. This kick is a little bit soft for my tastes, so I'm going to make it a little bit more disrespectful with one of my favorite UAD plugins, the SPL Transient Designer. The 
snare channel. A little SPL transient designer to help it poke through. Blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. And we can blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. Sounding much better already. The next thing I think is a little bit muddy is here inside the synths group, every single sound pretty much is made out of Silent and they're all sawtooth. So they all kind of have something similar. So I'm gonna keep all my current work cause you know, I did a lot of work just throwing the sausage fattener and kickstart on there. And we're just gonna take it a step further and throw retro color 20 on here. And we're not really even going to be using this for the retro color. We're going to be using this for this wobbling feature. And if you want it even wider, you could separate the left and right ear. These things could be panned a little bit harder too. Kind of a base, so I'm gonna pan it slightly more towards the center. And then we'll do the opposite with this one. Are your vocals sounding a little weak sauce? Does your plug-in chain lack organic spice and quality? Introducing Waves Vocal Sauce, the ultimate preset for Waves plugins that'll get your vocals so saucy you may never use another plug-in chain again. Waves Vocal Sauce is available now only at Holoops.com. The synths group frequency-wise kind of lies in a similar range as Mike Taylor's voice. And my favorite workaround for that is to create a send that is the lead vocal. I'll just use bus five because that's the next available one. And we can call this lead vocals and we can actually mute it because we're just using this as a sidechain channel. And on our synths group, we're gonna load up a Waves F6. We want our sidechain source on number five to be external because this is kind of the vocal range that we're trying to attenuate. Pull down the threshold and the range. Putting a plugin on the synth group that's helping the vocals pop out. I'll play the same phrase with the plug and mute it and turn it back on. The zombie eyes that's without it. Is calling me. Now I'm back on. The champagne eye is all I need. So that was the nice cleanup on the vocals without even having to put more plugins on the vocals. And at any point when the lead vocal is going, I really do want my synth group to be making some space for it, especially in the hook where there's a lot of lead. Picture, cause tomorrow I won't remember your face. I won't, I won't remember your face. The next thing I want to do to the synth group to help them get out of the way of the vocal a bit and also shine on the outsides at the same time is pull up this Waves Center plugin. Let's do some very bad things, do some very bad things. And we can blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. And we can blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. Oh, we won't remember. And I also want to automate Let's see, Waves Tune, where the fuck? Things do some very bad things And we can blame it on the full moon tonight Oh, we won't remember in the morning Oh, we won't remember in the morning And we can blame it on the full moon tonight Oh, we won't remember in the morning Oh, we won't remember in the morning The 
Next thing I want to do is a little bit of automation here on the lead vocal. I left my heart in this whiskey glass. Just like on the Ableton version. And we can blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. And we can blame it on the full moon tonight. Let's also go back to the controls and then control number two in lead vocal sauce is the glue knob. Let's see where this is at. 84%. Let's and then control number three inside of waves vocal sauce is the sauce control. And I think I'm just gonna add some extra sauce here in the hooks. So I'm just gonna go like this, drag these up a little bit. Yep, right here and right here. And for the bridge, I might actually want the sauce up for the rest. Who turned off the lights? I'm blacked out. I'm blacked out. Let's go back to our low cut I'm blacked control. out. Who turned off the lights? I'm blacked out. I'm, I'm blacked out. I'm blacked out. Boom. So we just automated our low cut throughout the song to use it as an effect. The next control we have here is our reverb amount. And this is where we pick kind of how much vibe we want. So for the spots where we got big gaps, probably want to leave the reverb up where it's at. I left my heart in this whiskey glass. I probably hit this up way too much. Got all excited about it. Let's take a picture. Cause tomorrow I won't remember your face. I won't, I won't remember. This pre chorus where the lyrics get kind of fast, less reverb is definitely going to help. So let's just pull it down like that. Remember your face. I really want to kiss you and do some very bad things. Do some very bad things. And we can blame it on the full moon tonight. Let's do the same thing for this pre chorus. Just double click in. Man, Logic is not good for automation. Really struggling right now. But. At least Waves Vocal Sauce is easy to use. And let's see what we have over here. That's the bridge. Let's leave the reverb up for the bridge. Next control we have in Waves Vocal Sauce is our half note delay. I left my heart in this whiskey glass. We've come too far. And I don't even really want the half note delays in the hook because there's a lot of lyrics in there. And let's bring them back in, make it a verse thing. Kind of the opposite of what you'd normally do, but this is how customizing a preset to your song is important because, you know, we're, uh, we're actually doing a lot of effects in the verse and drier in the hooks this time. Blame it on the full moon tonight. Let's bring it down in the hook. For this fill, I want it to be, and then let's do something like this. Boom, for the last one. Give it a little bit more juice in the final final spot. The morning, and we can blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. And now for the background vocals, I don't even think this song is going to need too much automation because I kind of just want a lot of effects on everything so i'm just gonna grab all these last four and here in background sauce the knobs are uh, low cut high cut which i think i'm going to use a little bit more of this is glue and then sauce so i'm gonna add a bunch more sauce to these background vocals and then the quarter notes and the effects nice and high up is perfect for this song we're not even really gonna have to automate too much on it. Blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we 
remember in the morning No, we won't remember in the morning And we can blame it on the full moon tonight Oh, we won't remember in the morning No, we won't remember in the morning and now finally, I think I want a slightly more disrespectful mastering plugin. So I'm going to swap out this event horizon for standard clip. Let's change it to soft clip pro. Let's take one final listen to the end of our track. Blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. And we can blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. No, oh, we won't remember in the morning. And we can blame it on the full moon tonight. Oh, we won't remember in the morning. No, oh, we won't remember in the morning. And we can blame it on the full moon tonight. There you have it. That is my Logic Session Mixdown. I hope you found all the tips, tricks, and shortcuts in this tutorial useful. And if you want to hear Waves Vocal Sauce and Waves Background Sauce for yourself, you can check them both out now, available at wholeloops.com. And if you got Blue Cat's patchwork, you can open it up in any DAW, which is really exciting. So until then, I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.